So in this video I'm going to talk about my preferred setup for GVGs, kind of give you a baseline composition. I'll give some alternatives to the classes that I say. I'm just trying to give you like an idea of what's working at the moment in GVG situations. So the number one spot in any group should be a tank here. Uh, I prefer pole hammers in this spot just because stuns are kind of better than silence at the moment. Uh, you want to be using full heavy armor in this role. Stone skin on the helmet, great defensive cooldown. If you overextend, your healer dies and you just need that extra tankiness, stone skin. You can pop it. Uh, root prison on chest piece, always one of the best utility spells in the game. AoE root, an entire team, gives great synergy with any kind of AoE damage ability in the game. Yeah, uh, also defensive sprint on boots, stack it with the stone skin, just gives you a little bit more survivability when trying to run away. Uh, for the passive slots, uh, go full toughness. I think the extra mitigation outweighs the HP gain you get from rolling flat HP on the armor. Uh, there's a couple of viable weapons for this slot. Uh, heavy mace, the 0.2 variant of mace is good. AoE silence is good, combines well with the root, just not as good as the stun at the moment in my opinion. And then the other viable tank weapon, quarter staff, 0.2 variant. Right, number two slot, always a healer. Um, I think nature, slightly stronger in this spot to be honest at the moment. Keep hots up on two people easy. You've got good AoE healing. Uh, you got a good panic heal on the W. Point one, point three variant, probably the best at the moment. Uh, you want to be rocking full light armor. Energy regain on the helmet, blink chest piece, energy sprint boots, plus heal on all the passive slots. Uh, you could run a heavy helmet here instead as well, just for that defensive cooldown. You're not confident with your positioning. Also a good choice. Um, and holy staff's completely viable as well. If you haven't got a nature staff in your guild, holy staff is good as well. Point one variant is probably the best variant of uh, holy staff. The panic insta heal on E is awesome. Laser tops people up super fast, and then you got the spammable heal on Q as well. Holy is definitely good. So then the third slot, uh, we usually run like a point Roma utility war bow. Come in from like these awkward angles, get a stun on their backline, follow up with a tank root charge, uh, and then yeah, just carry on the AoE train from there. The war bow always has to be in a position to get a fast rotate in case they send someone to the side points. Or if you're attacking, you know, it's quick rotates, capture a side point, come in from a strange angle behind the line, get a stun on their back line, squishies, all good stuff. Uh, I personally prefer medium helmet here, light chest, light boots, but full medium does work as well, gives you a little bit more move speed or increased uh, CC duration. The possibilities for this slot, curse staff. Full medium curse staff works good here. Maybe claws, like a full medium claw, can also roam quite effectively. You just haven't got that kind of team fight presence when you're not roaming. For the number four slot, it's been kind of like called the armor shred roll. Uh, we prefer a curse staff for this. Armor piercer is just insane at the moment. Turns light users to naked, heavy users to light. It's just an incredible ability for focusing down anyone on the team. Uh, once again, prefer medium helmet, light chest, light boots for this, but full medium works. You can run heavy chest, medium helmet, light boots. They're all viable options from an armor set perspective. I think the 0.2 and 0.3 variant of Curse Staff is the best. They both have that kind of AoE follow up with the uh, area of decay or field of death. Other possibilities for the armor should roll. Scythe could work, it's not as effective. Claws and dagger could work as well. If you are thinking of going these roles, I would suggest a heavy chest piece. Just lets you stay in the fight for longer. Um, doesn't affect your damage too much. And then 
that final slot, the fifth slot. This is the pure damage, target caller kind of roll. Full light armor, berserker buff on the helmet, blink on the chest piece. Just pump as much damage as possible. Personally, I think crossbow is the best in this slot, the 0.3 crossbow. It's got awesome single target DPS with auto fire. You've got great utility against melee with the caltrops. And melee pushes in too deep, caltrops them. 90% snare, they're pretty much stuck there unless they use some kind of escape ability to get out. And then they've got great, great AoE follow up. Warbow stun hits, armor piercer hits, and then you follow up the sweeping bolts. 900 damage to everyone. It's just awesome ability. I think crossbow is probably the best DPS in the game at the moment for GVG. Other possibilities curse staff with curse beam instead of armor piercer. Good choice. Frost Staff. I think all the variants of Frost Staff work here. Um, and then you kind of got the pure melee DPS, which I don't think is that good in GVG at the moment. So you kind of got your full light scythe, your full light dagger pair. Big damage, but very hard to utilize. Alright. That's the end of that then. Cheers for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I'll see you guys next time.